Welcome back to How to Thaumcraft with the Hittite. Today we're talking about the Thaumatorium, but we're also talking about wand upgrades because you need an upgrade to be able to make it. Anyway, let's get crafting once again. First off, wand upgrade. Definitely need it. First, so our normal thing is normal wooden wand with iron caps. First we need a to make a great wood wand. Double clicked, sorry. A great wood rod. That's fairly simple. Just need two great wood logs and put them side by side. And then you need gold caps. You need gold nuggets for that. Five, e five each. And you need two caps, obviously. So now once you have those, put your rod and your caps at either end. And you have a great wood wand. Upgraded. Holds twice as much as the iron one. It's not filled yet, but I already have a filled one. Now, the reason we need that is because we're going to be making something called the Thaumatorium, and you need at least 30 of this, both water and order, to do that. So, to... Hold on. Forgot to show the recipes. Now, the Great Wood Wand is over here, and the Gold Caps are over here. It's about mid-range. We're going to be using this for a lot, but not for everything. Now down here in Alchemy, the Thaumatorium, you have to unlock advanced essential tubes and the alchemical centrifuge to un be able to unlock it. But here it is. You need two of those alchemical constructs that we saw in the last video, but didn't make. And ignore that, because it's not ne really necessary. But to make it, you need two great wood planks. Well, a great wood plank, but we're making two of them, so two of them. Some vis filters here and here. Some Essentia valves here and here. Some Essentia tubes, which I just realized I haven't shown how to make, but you can look those up. They really aren't that hard, as long as you have mercury. Quicksilver, mercury, same thing. But, and each of those will make an alchemical construct. Oop, we're a little short on this wand. That's why I have backups. Now then, once you have two of those, you stack them on top of your existing crucible. Like this. Hold on. Inventory, grab that wand down here. And once this is made, it'll still need heat, but you'll no longer need to add water. Now just tap it with the wand. And voila! It is made. Now to get it to work, you're going to need essential tubes. More of them. What you do, whoops, you connect it on the side and to the various, and to warded jars down here that contain the essential you need. No more will you have to, you know, figure out how to make things in multiples of eight because that's how, where your files are. And you can have up to yeah, I believe looks like seven tubes coming out of this. Now then, if you don't want those tubes to connect, and you really don't, just right-click on the junction with your wand to break it. And bring it down here. And you can set jars down there, or wherever you want. And there's my nodes bullying each other. Whoops. Whoops. Placed those wrong. And... Hopefully this isn't too boring. I haven't really needed more than six tubes, so... Probably need it for some of the more advanced recipes, but for now we only need three because we're going to make aluminum, which I mentioned is very useful as a fuel source for the arcane furnace. Now then you need fire, power, and and uh, entropy, and the cat catalyst is coal. Now to do it, you just click on this, put whatever catalyst you want, and there will be a drop-down list of what you can make out of it. 
In this case, all you can make is alumentum. So click on that. It'll automatically draw, draw in all of the essential you need and only as much as you need and toss the finished product out the front. Voila! Very simple. And then if you want to make something else, just... Sorry, my mouse is double clicking today. Just deselect it and add another catalyst. And make sure you have enough essentia. If you don't have enough essentia, it'll just pause halfway through. Nothing bad will happen. And that's how you make the thaumatorium. And how you make alchemy much, much, much easier. And as a bonus, you've got a really cool wand now. And that's it for this one. That went pretty fast, but hey, I don't really want to make these too long. Uh, if you enjoyed this, remember to like the, co like the video because I thrive on feedback. And speaking of feedback, leave a comment because I really like to know what you people think of how I'm doing these. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And thank you all for watching. Bye bye.